When Sir Kit told him to go to the underworld, he did, and he met some prophet. And he heard some prophecy. And he met ghost of Achilles, ghost of Ajax and Astelemon, ghost of Patroclus, ghost of, ghost of Agamemnon, and ghost of his mom. And he came back, and the Sir Kay had breakfast ready. And Odysseus didn't eat them. And Sir Kay asked him, why do you not eat breakfast? Do you are so, so suspicious? And Odysseus said, Sir Kay, how can I eat this breakfast while my men are pigs? And Sir Kay said, you're right, Odysseus, you're very wise. And then Sir Kay turned Odysseus' men back into men from pigs. And Skeel, Sir Kay, Sir Kay, yeah, Sir Kay told him he's gonna meet the cattle of the sun and tell his men to never eat them. And Osses said, I will. And Sir Kay said, do not try to fight Charyptus and Skeela. Charyptus suck water up and barf it back out three times a day and Skeela live on a cliff and eat sailors that is passing by. So only way is to sail as fast as you can past Skeela. Hello, Osses said, okay. And they sailed onward. And they sailed onward and there were islands of cows, and Odysseus knew that was, it was the cattle of the sun. And Odysseus ordered his men to never eat those cows. And the men said they will. But the island of the cattle of the sun was really harsh. It, it didn't have any grass I mean it did have grass but it didn't have any like fruits it didn't have meat other than the cattle of the sun which is prohibited to eat and the army was starving and one soldier said we're army of the Odysseus we beat the Trojans and we came all the way to here and we can't starve to death. And the soldiers agreed. I don't know why, but they agreed. And they started to slaughter cattle of the cows and eat, ate them. And Arsa said, what are you doing? And, and the soldier that suggested they eat it said, look, Arsa, nobody is punishing us. And they ate, and Odysseus ate with them. And they sailed onward, and they met Charyptus and Scylla. Odysseus was confident. They came all the way to here, and they could handle Scylla and Charyptus. It's nothing. But it was his fatal mistake. Scylla, he couldn't reach because he, the, she, the Scylla lived on a nine feet cliff and plucked up soldiers and ate them. And Charyptus tried to pull their ships to her so she can suck them up. And Arsis thought, well, this can't be any worse, but it could be. Zeus, who was angry at them for eating the cattle of the sun, destroyed their ships and everybody died but Odysseus. Odysseus lived, and Odysseus lived on a plank of wood, and he floated along. And he landed in Ogygia, the island of Calypso. And Calypso immediately fell in love with Odysseus, and he, she imprisoned him. I guess you could say imprison, or you could say make him live for seven years. But the Odysseus never forgot his hometown. And when Hermes came down to let him go, he, let, he, he sailed onward and he met the wrath of Poseidon and 
he landed in land of the fishes. And Osif ended his story. Everybody clapped. Everybody clapped. And King told him, you are very brave and I will let you go to your home. And he prepared ship and he let Osif go onward. And they sailed onward to Ithaca. Ithaca is hometown of Odysseus. And they landed and they put Odysseus down because he was asleep. And he, they wrapped Odysseus around with nice silk. And they sailed back to the land of the Phaeacians. And Poseidon was very angry because Phaeacians were his favorite, I guess you could say, people. And Poseidon said, Lord Zeus, how can this be? The Phaeacian that I liked helped Odysseus on his way. And Zeus said, Poseidon, you had enough revenge on Odysseus. So chill now, please. And Poseidon was kind of mad and said, Will you let me punish the Phaeacians? And Lord Zeus said, all right, I'm tired of you and just punish them anyway. And Poseidon went to the land of the Phaeacians and saw the ship Odysseus was carried coming back to the land of the Phaeacians. Poseidon stood up and touched the ship with his trident. And the, t the ship turned into stone along with everything in it. And Poseidon went back to his under, uh, underwater castle and Phaeacians were really surprised and uh, sad. And Odysseus woke up and he knew he was in Ithaca because he was king in Ithaca. And he started to go but Athena stopped him. And he talked to Odysseus about how the sweeters of Penelope, his wife, the, I mean the queen. And he, they were trying to marry Penelope and they were eating up the, eating up the castle's meats and wines. And Odysseus was really mad and started to go towards the castle, but Athena stopped him and told him to uh, change as a badger and meet Elmias and his son Telemachus first. And they walk and he walked to the hut of Elmias. And he saw Elmias and Elmias welcomed him as a guest. And Athene uh, went to Sparta because his Odysseus' son Telemachus was live I mean I guess you could say visiting there. And Athene told him to go back to the, his hometown. And Telemachus said, okay, and he went back. And Telemachus visited the hut of Elmias too. And Odysseus revealed himself to his son. And Telemachus was like, and I don't know who you are, but you might be someone else. And Odysseus gave him proof, and Telemachus cried and hugged her, fought, hugged his father. And we will see what happens with Odysseus in the next video. Like and subscribe, and thank you for watching. Ready for get ready for the next video.